Hey, what's up there, sports cards fans? Uh, hope everyone had a good weekend, good St. Patrick's Day. It is Monday night, and I have a one-card mail day. Uh, it's a pretty big one. Um, however, this is not the big purchase that I would, was talking about making. Um, I'll, I'll discuss that in a couple minutes. But I was going to get this card after that one, but I thought, well, what am I waiting for? I should just, if I find one, I should just pick it up. And that is the 1991 Topps Chipper Jones Desert Shield. Take it off the stand for a minute. Um, it's graded Mint 9 by PSA, as you can see. It's in the new Lighthouse um, holder. For those of you not familiar with these cards, these um, were distributed to the troops that <clears throat> fought in the um, in a Desert Storm conflict in 1991. Um, I remember watching that conflict on TV, and if I remember correctly, it was the first uh, conflict that was aired live on television. So it looks a lot like the regular 91 Tops Chipper Jones, except you can see it's got this... Uh, foil stamp on it that uh, reads Operation Desert Shield. And I looked into these cards a little bit and uh, basically each soldier was issued one pack of these cards. Um, but a lot of them didn't survive and or they got beat up pretty bad. And, and actually I think most of them didn't even uh, make it overseas and they, they were uh, stuck at a base in South Carolina where a lot of them were, were sold off. Um, production numbers, I've heard 6,300, and I've also heard 6,700. But I think it's safe to say that less than 7,000 of each card was made, and of the surviving ones, there's even less. Um, population for the nines is 125, and there's only 28 tens. Um, and I think it's safe to say that this is the best Chipper Jones rookie card, which is why I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. So pretty sweet pickup. This card's been um, steadily rising over the last decade. Uh, Ten years ago, you could get this for about 250 bucks. Now it's selling for a thousand plus. Um, I, I actually got a really good deal on this. Um, it was a best offer. I was asking fifteen hundred or best offer, and I put in a, a very serious offer, but kind of on the low end. And within ten minutes, he had accepted it, so it was kind of surprising. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I've got it in a in a case. I don't see if I can yeah, pop this. Yeah, so I have it in this plastic case. I picked that up. I don't know, uh, two, three, maybe a month ago. Um, I wish I had bought more because I can't find them again. But uh, it, they're made by. Now I'm having trouble closing. <laughs> they're. Uh, it's made by Ultra Pro. There we go. Um, it's made by Ultra Pro. I don't know if you can really see the uh, label on the back there. Um, but. I haven't been able to find them again since I bought them off eBay, and I can't remember the seller. Uh, so I wish I had bought more. They're okay. Um, I wish they weren't so expensive. It was 12 bucks for three of them, so 4 bucks a pop. That's kind of a lot for a cheap plastic case, but you know, now I wish I had more of them. But it, it fits nice and uh, obviously protects the slab really well. And uh, I think it's a nice uh, little showpiece display for it. Um, okay, so now as far as the, the other big card that is on my radar, I might as well just tell you guys because it's not going to happen in the immediate future. And uh, I am on the lookout for a 93 SP Jeter. Um, I thought that I was going to get a PSA 9, but now I'm sitter, seriously considering an SGC 9. And I'd actually like all of your guys' opinion because... Um, PSA 9 is going to run me about $3,000, which is a, it's a lot of money. The SGC 9, if I can find one, the pop is low. It's a pop of only 63. 
if I can find one, I should be able to pick up for about 1500 so half the price. So <clears throat> I'm seriously questioning whether it's worth paying an extra $1,500 for the PSA label. Um, yes, I understand that if that card continues to move, that the PSA uh, will maybe not grow at a faster rate. It might. I'm not, sh I'm not sure, but... Obviously, uh, you know, it could go from 3000 to potentially 5000 whereas the SGC, 1500 maybe it goes to 2000 You know, I'm not going to gain as, as much. So, but I'm, I'm just seriously questioning whether it's worth um, paying double for the PSA holder. And <clears throat> um, I'm also thinking that it's the kind of card that I want to buy in person. Um, because I went to my local card shop, which, by the way, even though I've been in there three or four times since I discovered the place, I just found out today that the owner um, is actually a veteran of the, of the NFL. His name is Bill Simpson, and he played five seasons for the Rams and three, yeah, I think three for um, Buffalo. And he played safety, and he actually... In the 1975 NFC Divisional game against the then St. Louis Cardinals, uh, he actually had an interception and a touchdown. He had two interceptions, and one resulted in a touchdown in that game, so that's pretty cool. And uh, one year he led the Rams in interceptions, so he was, and, uh, so he was a pretty good player. So it's pretty neat that uh, my LCS is owned by a NFL veteran. So... So I talked to him for about an hour about different things, and we were talking about PSA versus SGC, and and he had several uh, of the 93 SP Jeters in his display case, graded by PSA, SGC, and Beckett. And I looked at a lot of them close up and <clears throat> uh, decided that because of the sensitive nature of the, of the card, um, that it's something that I would really prefer to buy in person but if I find an SGC9 on eBay, it would be hard to pass up because they're so rare. But uh, there is a, a a coin shop or coin currency and sports collectible show <clears throat> that rolls through town every like three months um, in Long Beach, California, which is you know 15, 20 minutes from me. Um, I think I might spend the day there and. Uh, see if anyone's selling any Jeters, <clears throat> and maybe pick one up there. So that's happening uh, mid-June. So what is it, March? April. That's three months from now. Um, but I can be patient. But that's that's what I'm on the lookout for right now, 93 SP Jeter. Um, maybe a PSA 9. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to lean towards the SGC 9 just because uh, of the price difference and how much more am I getting uh, with the PSA. I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of this very cool, very special Desert Shield Chipper Jones rookie card. Thanks guys. Check you all later.